I have to admit, I was nervous, a little anxious, and certainly did not know what to expect when I sat down to receive a reading from Hollywood medium, Tyler Henry. Let's have a look. Hey, how's it going? Good to see oh, you. It's good to see you. I'm a little nervous, no, but hey. That's okay. We'll jump right in. I have my notepad, and you okay. see a bunch of scribbles here, and that's basically what I do. I'll just kind of scribble, and as I scribble, I get into a state of meditation, where I basically start seeing things, feeling things. So I'm gonna take a minute, <laughs> I'm just gonna scribble naturally, and we'll see what starts coming in. Um, and we'll go from there. There's this man that's popping in, <laughs> and I can tell that he would have passed away relatively recently. This guy is coming through as a contemporary to your father. And he just has me bring up this feeling of not wanting to be a burden in the long term because there was this whole element of unpredictability around his passing. It's kind of weird because he had a couple close calls before he died and I can tell that he would have dealt with some heart issues. Does any of that make sense? It does. So my dad's brother, Uncle Ron, passed recently after the surgery on his heart. I'm connected to him, this is so weird, but somebody raised a pig, and it's a show pig, and this show pig was supposed to be a pig that we would be like, you know, taking and selling it, but it looks like we got particularly attached to the show pig, and it was just a funny story. My dad's side of the family is from a farm in Nebraska, and Uncle Ron, who passed, raised hogs, and his daughter Sherry loved pigs. Oh, wow. So that all right. is true. My grandpa is really my main focus, diabetes related stuff. He acknowledges that he feels like in his life, he shows, as this is coming through, such pride for what you've been able to do in your life academically, what you've been able to make of yourself as an individual. It's given his soul a sense of peace and a sense of closure that he would have not otherwise had. My grandpa, he passed the year the show started, but I always remember thinking, I wonder if he was proud of me. Oh, absolutely. Um, no doubt about it. So this is just gonna keep in mind, this might be a little off if you're not <laughs> if you're not open to this, but I am seeing a baby being born. Well, Congratulations well, I hope the, the baby stuff makes me you know yes. that because because I'm not not I'm not a spring enough. chicken. There definitely is a, is a reference to a little girl. I kind of like in my job to like a mailman. I don't really write the letters. I just kind of deliver the message. I am absolutely floored by your gift, your ability to connect with present, past, future. Dado, thanks so much. The doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.